One of the biggest things that's starting to set the Switch apart from previous Nintendo consoles is a stronger focus on competitive games. The Wii U of course had a few of those types of games, but never at the caliber that we're seeing now, with games like Splatoon 2, ARMS, Mario Kart, Rocket League, Smash in a few weeks, and even Pokémon Tournament, all getting things like officially licensed tournaments and just general continued balance support even months after their initial release. In just a few weeks, Nintendo will be releasing yet another big competitive title for the Switch roster, being Mario Tennis Aces, and this weekend we got our first look at what the competitive side of that game might feel like. Now, bringing it back to the Wii U versus Switch discussion, the Wii U also had its own exclusive Mario Tennis game, but there's just something about the updated mechanics, as well as just the competitive nature that they are trying to roll this game out in, that it's really going to put this Switch iteration aside from any Mario sports game that we've ever seen before. <laughs> Perhaps the biggest thing that will set Mario Tennis Aces apart from its Wii U counterpart Mario Tennis Ultra Smash is the online tournaments. This is basically going to be another form of the monthly events that have made the other big competitive games so popular, similar to ARMS Party Crash or Splatoon 2's Splatfests. Since their release last year, there are times where I haven't played either of those games religiously. But regardless of whether I'm practicing every day or not at the time, I still participate in nearly every single one of the Splatfests and party crashes simply because it's exciting and fun to be a part of. I think that these online tournaments in Mario Tennis Aces are going to be the same type of deal for me, where even months after the game is released, when the hype has maybe died down a little, I'll still come back at least once a month to play these events. Another thing that really helped boost the sales of both Splatoon and ARMS were those global test punches and the test run for the Splatfests that were made available prior to the game's releases. And this weekend was basically the same thing for Mario Tennis Aces. As a result, I think that the tone of this game is going to be perceived as drastically different than any previous Mario Sports games. Rather than just releasing a solid couch co-op game with maybe some gimmicky modes that ultimately end up feeling like a mega joke, the developers have started us all out by only being able to play against other people for our first experience with this game. They could have easily just put together a compilation of some levels in the first part of the adventure mode, like we saw with the Kirby demo released earlier this year, but no, they took out all of the other modes besides the one where you get to test your strength against another human being and let us go hone our skills against one another for 48 hours straight. This really puts the game in a competitive light that's going to boost sales and make people want to put dozens of hours of practice into the game even before it's released. Like I said, we've seen this work tenfold with Arms and Splatoon, and I can already see it working on social media for Mario Tennis Aces. Now I could also talk about the fact that these tournaments have been a focal point of most presentations that we've seen on this game thus far, but genius marketing aside, there are just some fundamental gameplay changes here that also put this apart from its predecessors. First of all, the basic shots are, I guess, basically the same, but the default controls for all of them have been reworked to feel a lot more natural. They're still the same slice, flat, and topspin shots to choose from, but the way that they're performed has been switched around a little bit, and all of them are just enhanced by the major new feature in this game being the charge system. You'll start with an empty charge gauge, and all you've got to do to fill it up is just make charge shots. These are performed by holding down on whichever shot you want to use before you hit the ball. The longer you hold down the charge button will make your shot stronger and faster, and will also charge that energy gauge a little more. They've really improved the way that those different shots interact with each other as well, in that a fully charged shot will knock you back quite a bit, but you can counter this knockback through specific types of shots. For example, a fully charged top spin, identified by its red trail, can knock you back pretty far if you can't hit it hard enough in time, 
but using a slice shot identified by its blue trail will counter the topspin and significantly reduce that knockback. This also works vice versa, and the purple trailed flat shots work the same way with each other. So essentially, it creates a weapon triangle system, sort of like something you'd see in Fire Emblem. This really comes into play against powerful characters like Bowser, who can easily lock you into a chain of running back and forth and constantly getting knocked back. So it makes it so that you can develop a strategy no matter what matchup that you're dealing with. This system has been somewhat present in previous iterations, but it's now just a lot more defined and truly creates a second layer of depth in the basic ebb and flow of tennis. The complexity doesn't even stop there though, because there are multiple ways to spend that energy that you gain and keep in your gauge. You can slow down time, which will eat up your energy pretty quickly, but it's pretty useful. You can perform special zone shots from the stars that appear on the ground when your opponent doesn't hit the ball very well. You can also perform trick shots, which are super precise and hard to land, but can result in some incredible saves from across the court. And if you're semi-conservative with your energy, you can actually use your full gauge to perform an ultra shot, which is super hard to block and can also break your opponent's racket if they're not careful. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's this cool racket system as well. Your racket has a health bar along with two lives. Blocking a zone shot too early will take away one bar of health of its initial three, and an ultra smash will automatically break a racket if you don't time it right, regardless of how much health it has. Once you lose those two lives, the match is over, no matter who's actually winning or losing at the time, adding a whole nother layer of depth and making it feel like more of a fighting game against people who really like to use those zone shots. This new racket system, along with the whole idea of having to decide how you're gonna allocate all of that energy that you gain, is really what makes this game so competitively fun. Rather than just focusing on gimmicky modes like the Mega Battles and Ultra Smash, and focusing on more classic style of tennis battles for the competitive side of the game, Mario Tennis Aces is really designed around balanced, fundamental gameplay that they identify as the standard class. There is the option to play without the energy gauge and all of those extra shot styles through the simple class mode, but the most fun and truly competitive mode is the one where all of that extra stuff is included. In fact, this is the only mode where you can actually play in the ranked tournament, and I really hope that they continue this precedent of all ranked matches being the new standard class and keeping those classic simple class matches to just for fun. So I definitely knew that I was excited for this game already, but I had no idea that I would literally be holding myself in my room and canceling all my other plans this weekend just so I could play a few more hours of this demo. In fact, I'm not 100% sure yet because I can't check it for a few more days, but I'm pretty sure that I've already sunk more time into this demo than the measly 10 hours or so that I've put into the full $60 version of Kirby Star Allies this whole year. This three weeks is going to be an incredibly long wait, even with E3 in between. I am monumentally excited for more hours of this ranked mode, that adventure mode that we haven't really even played yet, as well as just all of the other bells and whistles that I'm sure we don't even know about yet. In fact, I'm really even kicking myself for making this video right now. I would much rather be putting a few more hours into the Aces demo, so I'm gonna finish this up so I can do a play more. Um, let me know your thoughts on Mario Tennis Aces down in the comments. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to my channel for the latest Switch content available. This has been Max from Max Culture, and thank you so much for watching.